Google introduced new products and technology upgrades at its annual developer conference this week, driving home its superiority in artificial intelligence and the commitment to augmented reality. Bloomberg Technologies' Mark Bergen caught up with Clay Bavor, his Alphabet Vice President of VR and AR. Take a listen. The big thing we highlighted today were a number of updates to Google Lens. Uh, Lens is a capability that lives inside your camera that lets you search what you see, basically. Yeah, and that, I, I talked a little bit about, you know, you had something called the visual positioning system, uh, and that's something that we're all familiar with. Um, you get off the subway, you try to find where you're going, and you, everyone usually turns to Google Maps, um, and the frustration's there where, you know, you're not, not sure exactly where you're going. Well, how are you guys solving that? Yeah, the situation I think is familiar. You get out of a taxi, you're off the subway, and you're trying to figure out where you are, and you maybe walk 10 feet that yeah. way, see if your blue, blue dot moves, move back. And that's because, especially in urban settings, GPS, because of magnetic fields and buildings and so on, doesn't always work reliably enough to really figure out exactly where you are. So we've been working on what we call VPS, a visual positioning system, that just like you and I would use kind of landmarks in the environment, a tall building, a mountain, to figure out where we are to navigate, uses similar visual features in the environment to help you figure out exactly where you are and to get you where you're going. You know, you've, Google's been sitting on this massive asset of, of maps for a long time. Um, was it just really technically difficult to integrate some of the work you're doing with augmented reality and maps? So talk to me, like, why is it you know, taking such a long time to, to put that so out? We showed uh, some early explorations of enhanced walking navigation uh, in today's keynote. And really, that's about the culmination of a number of technical investments coming together, from computer vision to make sense of signs and things like the visual positioning system to help infer exact location, uh, and then just building out our maps data set. And that's been many years in the making. Yeah. Yeah. Today's announcements were all focused on mobile. We didn't see any VR, or AR headsets. Are you spending a lot more time thinking about the capabilities of, of mobile phones rather than, than headsets? So we really believe in the long-term potential for both virtual and augmented reality. I think big things will happen in both in the coming years. Uh, I think what we're seeing is because everyone's got a smartphone, everyone's got a smartphone camera, there's an enormous opportunity to improve products and really improve user experiences using the device that we already have. And so Google Lens is about that, some of the exploration that we showed in Maps Walking Directions are about that, and you'll see some more things over the next couple days. Do you think that the sort of VR market is, is maybe five to ten years away from really taking off? Well, I don't have a crystal ball. I, I think what we're seeing is some promising early adoption of it, especially in enterprise and education, um, and in some pockets with consumers as well. Uh, and we really believe in its long-term promise, and uh, actually just last week unveiled uh, in partnership with Lenovo the Mirage Solo, uh, which is our first standalone headset running Daydream. Yeah. What's, um, for, for augmented reality, talk to me a little bit about what, what do you see as you know, what everyone calls the, the killer app, the, the first one that'll really take like, mainstream adoption? Well, I, I think it's a bit false to assume that there's going to be this one killer app that suddenly tips everything. I think progress tends to be incremental, and so I think we see it as kind of a long ramp up. I think you're going to see some breakthroughs in and around the area, areas that we talked about today, like mapping, like search, where instead of trying to enter a long keyword-based search to figure out what that car in front of you is or what that dog is, yeah. you can just show your phone it and get answers on it. Yeah. Or again, instead of kind of fighting with the blue dot trying to get where you're going, your phone can just lead the way there. And is that also potential for, for like, this is potential for businesses, for is it a revenue generating potential for you and your division here? Like, talk, oh. like, using augmented reality and mapping to, to connect with local businesses. We think there are in time some pretty neat commercial opportunities in both virtual and augment, augmented reality. But it's so early, the focus for me, for the team, is on getting the products right, making them really useful and helpful to users in their everyday lives. And I think if we do that, then we can do some other things in service of businesses. Are you excited for the Harry Potter game? Uh, I sure am. I'm excited for all things augmented reality and uh, big fan of the franchise. So the two together 